I think this initiative is critical in our uh, motto of believing that better people make better cricketers. We believe that a well-educated, well-rounded, holistic developed person um, at the end of the day is better equipped for the pressures of cricket and life after cricket and international cricket and the pressure that brings. So for that reason it is really important for us that this type of initiative that looks after the holistic development and specifically education of the player is such an important part. And what is so nice about this is that the school in the box is such a portable facility or that you can take that anywhere. It can go into you know, the deepest rural areas. It doesn't need internet connection. And that's what's so nice about it. So basically at the social project we came up with the concept of school in a box because we're trying to solve the problem of how do we incorporate technology into, into education, so that whole innovation uh, in education type problem. And so we came up with this concept of having tablets, put all the content that is relevant and necessary for learners. So that'll engage them because technology is just something that kids today are so keen to, to get involved in and all that. And so if we take something like that and bring it to a hub, like the one they have here at the CSA, you've got the love of sport, you've got the love of technology, and then you've got education, which is something that is core and that is necessary to build a good person. I think that, well, that's what was mentioned earlier on today. So that's what we're hoping to do. So the first thing they'll see is that logo for School in a Box. And then um, they put in their username as well as their password. And already the lessons are preset, especially here at the centre. They've got a tutor who comes in every day and puts a lesson together for each group of learners. Now once they log in, all they see is that lesson that is prepped for them. They click on that lesson, they begin to watch a video. A lot of our content is video based. So they'll watch a video and especially for foundation phase, it's very animated, which engages them even further. So they'll do that video and after that video, they'll then do an activity, which they'll answer questions and it'll immediately mark it and give them a result and they move on to the next video. So they might actually get an opportunity to do two videos in an afternoon as well as two activities. And then at the end of that day, they sign out. And that's a whole session for them. Some of these kids, English-wise, it's a problem. When you play provincial matches, uh, confidence-wise, some of them, they don't know how to communicate with the coaches and then the players. Remember this, we have seven players of color and then we have six white players. And then when they know how to speak English, it's easier for them to, to gel as a team. We try by all means for the kids to speak English when they're here so they can get used to speaking English. The kids are progressing well. Each kid will come here for one hour training and one hour in the class. Basically, maths English is our first priority at the moment. And then, yeah, uh, the, the kids and the parents are gelling very well. Uh, some of the parents actually they, they're calling just to ask if the kids came to the classes, yeah, uh, which is it's good. It's fantastic to have these initiatives, but you need funding. And in order to get funding, you need partnerships. In this case, Armscore has come to uh, the party in terms of the pilot process. We would like, obviously, if this works, to uh, roll this out to all the hubs and RPCs around the country. But, again, that's going to mean funding. And for that reason, we're going to need partners to come up with us, to share the vision. The Department of Education, Sports and Rec South Africa, has also seen the work that we do and understand that this, through this partnership, we can change the country. For us, it's quite exciting because we, we always look for partners because we can't be everywhere. So we always look at viable partnerships where given our challenges with shortage and limited resources. So we're trying to maximize our efforts and our investment. But for us is to try and tap in for future leaders, future engineers to grab them early. So an organization like CSA, where already they've got their hubs, where part of it, yes, is to ensure that kids uh, master the art of cricket, but over and above developing future responsible citizens. So the values really do actually coincide with our values in that sense. And what we've seen over the years is that if you don't tap in the talent early enough, by the time we try and approach them when they're doing your high school grades, it's often too late. So I think our investment is informed by those realities to ensure that our talent pipeline is always attended to. The department really sees this opportunity as a very, very strategic initiative which will benefit learners not only in terms of playing the game of cricket but also ensuring that uh, while learners come to play cricket in the cricket hub but they are also afforded the opportunity 
to improve their schoolwork. I think uh, School in a Box will actually contribute their academic performance and making sure that they improve. So as the Department of Basic Education, we really welcome this initiative and we really support it.